that many parents may be dealing with sticker shock as they get their children ready to go back to school. Prices for many items are up. Our consumer investigator Jason Knowles explaining what is fueling the increase and he also has some solutions for you if you're looking to save. Back to school spending is expected to reach a record $37.1 billion this year. That's according to the National Retail Federation. For many families, the increase in school supply costs are adding a new layer of stress. I've had to say no many, many times today, but I think we got everything we needed. Christina Cotis is watching her wallet as she fills her shopping cart with back to school supplies and clothing. A whole bunch of um, dress shirts. It's all for her three children who are eager to get back in the classroom. And it was kind of sad over COVID because we didn't get to go to school and see our friends, but this year we're going back, back to school. But there's a price. But in general, I do think the cost is up. Codis is right. Consumer experts say prices of backpacks, clothing, and tech items are going up. In fact, prices of almost all consumer goods have increased more than 5% from last year. That's according to the latest inflation figures from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. So you go right to that clearance section. Yeah, I'm not like, just like I'm not going to go straight to the regular price. It's not like always, you know, what it used to be. So I just go to the clearance. Making lists and like when what you come you in, like what do you need to buy and like do not go down extra aisles. Ted Rossman from Bankrate.com explains the price uptick. Costs are going up for a whole bunch of reasons, but they really come back to disruptions in the supply chain and then also just higher costs of doing business. So higher costs of transportation, higher manufacturing costs, higher costs that businesses are paying their workers. This is all having some upward price pressure on back to school and other items. Despite some reports of school supply shortages, the I-team went to several stores and found most shelves were full of choices, although a few with backpacks and planners and notebooks were starting to look a bit bare. So you may not want to wait until the last minute to get what you really need. The National Retail Federation says this year families are expected to pay an average of $848 for an elementary or high school student, up almost $60 from last year. College students will spend an average of $1,200 this year, up $141. You maybe don't need to buy everything brand new. Take inventory of what you already have around the house. Friends and family members and neighbors, they might be happy to share unused items with you. For college kids, you know, maybe you know somebody who has an old couch or microwave or desk. You can also check out secondhand stores and online classifieds like the Facebook Marketplace. For electronics and tech, you can find savings in buying refurbished items from places like the Apple Store and Walmart. You can also put the brakes on buying everything right away. You maybe don't need all this on day one. A lot of these things will go on even deeper discounts after Labor Day and after the first day of school. So maybe you could even ask the teacher, you know, what do we absolutely need right away and what's for later in the year? The higher school supply demand is also sparking a scam warning. The Better Business Bureau says fake websites may target shoppers with phony deals. You could pay and never get the items. You should only shop with retailers you know and trust and be skeptical of prices which seem way too low. Use a credit card in case you need to dispute a charge. Jason Knowles, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Parents are feeling it though. 848 bucks right. for oh, grade wow. school and, uh, and, and, <laughs> and high school age kids. Nice evening out there tonight. We've had a great day. You can feel the heat.